Okay, today I want to talk about the new string replace all method. I want to say uh, thanks to my friend Chris Fernandi from the website gomakethings.com. Uh, he put out a little uh, short article on this today and that's what inspired me to do this. So, jumping into it, what does this do? Well, for years and years and years we've had, well from the beginning of JavaScript, there's been a string method called replace which lets you take a string and then you say okay look for this and replace it with that. The problem with it is if you're just working with strings you can only look for one at a time. It finds the first instance of what you're looking for and replaces that. If you wanted to replace all the matches you either had to put it inside of a loop or you had to use a regular expression and say globally replace everything. So this lets us work with just a string. So I'm going to show you how that works and then I'm going to show you how to build a polyfill for this which means support the browsers that don't have it right now which is almost all of them right now. Um, Chrome its brand new version version 85 and Firefox are the only browsers that support this method right now. Now if you're looking at the uh, technical preview the developer of editions of the browsers they're starting to support it right now but it's still going to be a little bit of time before all the browsers support it and let's face it not everybody updates their browsers all the time so it's going to be a while before this method is supported everywhere. All right enough talk let's jump into the code. So I have here a, a little bit of DOM content loaded event handler function um, it's going to let me click on this string and I tried to come up with a, a practical example where we've got a value that we're getting from somewhere it could be a form could be copy pasted into here and we want to take whatever is currently there and replace all the spaces with hyphens that's the example that we're going to go through here so the person clicks on this paragraph I'm going to fetch the text content from here so I'm going to take this string and I want to find all the spaces and replace them with hyphens so what do we do well um, the brand new method all we really have to do is let's say I'm going to make a new variable called prod num and we will take that string prod string and call the replace all method simple enough what are you looking for well I'm looking for spaces and I want to replace them with hyphens and that's it nice simple easy but like I said we don't have support everywhere so this is going to work if I test this in Chrome uh, we should actually write the the answer out here I'll just put it in the console so prod num there we go I click here there's the new version and you can see it's got the hyphens inside of it so that works great that's in a browser that does support it but what's going to happen inside of browsers that don't well here's an older version of opera that I've got I think it's version 65 so it's from a little while ago inside of here we click on this what do we get well we get a JavaScript error replace all is not a function so this is what you're going to get in almost all the browsers out there right now well that doesn't work for us we need to handle this first of all make sure we get rid of the error so we'll jump back in here I'm going to wrap this bit of code in an if statement I'm going to check to see okay if there's something called replace all inside of string.prototype and that's where this method exists where all the string methods exist there we go all the instance methods for strings exist inside of string.prototype so we're telling JavaScript go inside the prototype for string this is the constructor function inside of its prototype is there something called replace all if there is we're gonna run it if not let's write out not supported okay save that now make sure this is refreshed click here there we go no error we get a message now it's not ideal but it's better than having an error on the page which is going to prevent other things from running back in here this still works so we're still able to call replace all if the browser supports it but I want more than that I want to actually be able to use it in the other browsers so how do we do that well we need to extend 
the string prototype. We're going to add a method into here. So up inside of this, I'm going to take this if statement, I'm going to move it up into here. There we are. So I've got my if. I'm checking to see if it exists. If it is, great. If not, then we're going to do something. So if that just so we see something in the console. There we go. And if it's not supported, we want to add it. We want to improve stringed up prototype. So we do this stringed up prototype dot call it whatever you want as long as, as long as it's not something that already exists. That's what I'm going to call it. That is the method that I'm going to be using in my code. So I'm going to create this method inside of the prototype for the string object. So what does the replace all take? If we look down here, there's a find value and a replace value. So let's do that. We'll use those as our variable names. And we're going to say this. I'm going to create a new regular expression. I'm going to take the value that's been sent in. This is just going to be a string. Now I could double check if I was actually doing this for production, I would validate that these things are strings, but we're going to assume at this point that it is a string. I'm going to take what's being passed in. And then the second argument here for a regular expression is that global thing that I mentioned earlier. I want to create a regular expression that looks for whatever this string is as many times as it exists, searching globally throughout the entire string. Now, once I have that, return, and the keyword this here is going to be whatever string called this method. So whatever called replace all right here, prodster, that will be this. So this dot replace, which is the one that exists everywhere. It's in all the browsers. We don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to pass in my expression and then the replace value. This is the thing that's going to replace it. There we go. Now we have done a polyfill. We've created this function for all the browsers that don't have it because right here we checked to see if it existed. If it didn't, we're going to add that method. Now down here, when I call it, it should work everywhere. So let's test it in Chrome. Good to go. So that ran right at the very beginning when the page was loading. So it has the built in one. There we go. It worked. And let's jump over to Opera. Not supported. Okay, great. That was, if you remember, back here, this not supported. So that means it should have done this. It should have created that method for us. So when we click, there it is. It did work. So we have it. We have this working in the brand new browsers using the built in method that was just added to those browsers. And for the browsers that don't support it, we've just created a polyfill. All right, and that's it. So if you're looking for a copy of this code, if you look in the description, you'll find a link to the code gist with this page. And as always, thanks for watching.